Steve and the Great Villager Bake Off. It was a bright, blocky morning in Minecraft, and Steve was feeling adventurous, but not the kind of fight zombies and dodge creepers adventurous. Today, he wanted to bake a cake. Steve wasn't much of a baker, but he'd heard Villager Joe talking about a legendary event, the Great Villager Bake Off. Contestants from all over the Minecraft world would compete to bake the best dessert. The prize? A golden rolling pin and a lifetime supply of emeralds. Steve had never baked anything more complicated than bread, but he thought, how hard could it be? It's just sugar, eggs, and milk, right? Wrong. Getting ingredients. A quest begins Steve realized he didn't have the basic ingredients for a cake. So, armed with a wooden sword, a bucket, and his wits, he set out to gather supplies. One, milk from a cow Steve found a cow grazing near his house. Hey, Bessie, mind if I borrow some milk? Bessie stared at him, mooed loudly, and started running. Steve chased her across fields, through rivers, and up a hill. Finally, after a dramatic leap over a ravine, he managed to milk her. 2. Sugar from sugarcane Next, Steve needed sugar. He found a patch of sugarcane by a river and chopped it down. Easy, right? Except a skeleton popped out of nowhere and started shooting arrows at him. Seriously? I'm just trying to bake a cake. Steve shouted, dodging arrows. He finally grabbed the sugar cane and sprinted away, narrowly escaping. Three eggs from chickens Steve headed to his chicken coop, but the chickens weren't cooperating. Every time he reached for an egg, the chickens clucked angrily and pecked his hands. Come on, guys! I feed you seeds every day. Steve pleaded. After a lot of squawking and chasing, he finally managed to grab a few eggs. The bake-off begins with all the ingredients in hand. Steve returned home and baked his very first cake. It looked fine. A little lopsided, maybe, but it smelled great. At the bake-off, Steve was amazed by the competition. Villager Joe had made an emerald-encrusted pie, Alex had baked a cookie tower, and Creeper Carl, yes, the talking creeper, had somehow made exploding cupcakes. Steve placed his cake on the judging table and tried to act confident. The judging the judges, three elder villagers, examined each dessert carefully. They sniffed, tasted, and occasionally muttered, H R R M M M. When it was Steve's turn, the head judge took a bite of his cake. The elder's eyes widened. This is incredible, the judge exclaimed. Steve grinned. Really? Yes, the judge said, pausing dramatically. But, it's missing something. Steve's heart sank. Missing something? Like what? The judge whispered, frosting. Steve panicked. He had completely forgotten about frosting. The frosting frenzy thinking fast, Steve grabbed his bucket and sprinted to the nearest beehive for honey. But the bees weren't thrilled about him stealing their hard work. Steve ran back to the bake-off, bees swarming behind him. Carl, seeing Steve's predicament, shouted, Quick! Use my sparkling cupcakes as a distraction. Steve grabbed one of Carl's cupcakes and tossed it into the air. The bees, mesmerized by the sparkles, followed it and left Steve alone. Steve mixed the honey with milk and sugar, creating a makeshift frosting. He smeared it onto his cake just in time for the final judging. And the winner is... The head judge took another bite of Steve's now-frosted cake. 
The other judges nodded in agreement. The winner of the Great Villager Bake Off is Steve, the elder announced. The crowd cheered. Steve couldn't believe it. He was handed the golden rolling pin and a giant chest of emeralds. Carl high-fived him. Nice job, buddy. You really take the cake. Thanks, Carl, Steve said. And thanks for saving me with those sparkly cupcakes. From that day on, Steve was known not just as a great adventurer, but also as the best baker in all of Minecraft. And while he loved his golden rolling pin, he decided to hang it on his wall and stick to cookies for his next baking adventure. Moral of the story, even if you're not good at something, a little creativity, quick thinking, and help from friends can lead to sweet success.